But despite having the largest population of any city in Hayes County, San Marcos only has five grocery stores. And recognizing this, the city council approved an incentive deal to try to attract grocers earlier this year. Our Sam Stark delves into why this is a game changer for many in the city. An almost completely full parking lot at this HEB in San Marcos late Tuesday morning. It's one of the handful of stores providing food to the over 70,000 people in the city. But the problems in San Marcos go deeper than just full parking lots. Transportation and mobility really creates a barrier for people getting access to food. Lisa Young, executive director for the Hayes County Food Bank, says many of her clients need food deliveries because they don't have vehicles. According to data from USDA, there are many households within San Marcos without cars that are further than a half a mile from a grocery we store. We have low access areas here, particularly on the east side, and that's for the whole county. It's one of the reasons why in May, the San Marcos City Council greenlit an incentives deal for a new grocery store before there were any negotiations. I'm going to sweeten this deal however we got to do it to try to attract something. Five months later, at its city council meeting Tuesday night, city leaders will vote on bringing a new HEB to this field, which is slightly east of Interstate 35. In exchange for bringing another grocery store to the city, HEB will get a refund on property and sales tax for the next five years saving the store an estimated $2.2 million. This is going to be a great opportunity for people to shop uh, moving more away from the town center for people in the outlying areas. In San Marcos, Sam Stark, KXAN News. Other nearby communities have made similar moves to San Marcos. Last year, the city of Kyle approved an incentive package for a developer to build a Sprouts, and New Braunfels in 2015 did the same for a new HEB.